Hi everyone, Victor here again, and in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at creating and managing users on Linux systems. So, there are basically three types of users in Linux system. We have number one, the root user, we have the regular or ordinary user, and we have the system user. So, what's is the root user always the root user rather the root user also called the super user is the master user on the system this user is the most powerful user and this user is automatically created by default when you install the linux operating system just like windows administrator user when you install the windows system that administrator user is automatically created. So the same thing is applicable to the Linux system. Whenever you install the Linux operating system, the root user too is automatically created. So the second type of user that we have is the regular user. And the regular user are other users like you and me that the root user can create on the system. And the third user, which is the system users, these are the users that some services or processes that are running on the system automatically create by default. An example is the SSHD user. Another example is the HTTP users. So these users are automatically created whenever you install the HTTP or SSHD services. So why? do we need to create and manage users? Creating and managing users is more than just creating users as the administrator and telling users to just log in and log out of the system. This act is, isn't just a mere technical task. As a rich user, you can give the necessary permissions to users according to their job description. So any user doesn't just do what they like on the system. And as a matter of fact, the root user can track and audit any user's activities you suspect. So every user's answer to their name in case there is any suspected fraudulent activities. There are so many other reasons, but I'll stop here for now. Trust me, you will get to figure out the other reasons by yourselves, by yourself rather, by the time you complete this course. So let's look at the attributes of a Linux user. By default, whenever a new user is created, the users are stored in the etc password file. So let's open this file so we can understand the attributes of a Linux user. I have also discussed about the attributes of Linux users in the real 8 series I'll be dropping the link to that particular lesson and the link will be in the description box below. So if you want to learn more about it, you can check. Moving forward, I'm just going to bring up my system. And like I have said that the users are being stored in the file, which is etc password file. So if you look at this file, you would see you know, the number of users we have on this system, on this Linux system, we have users like the boss, we have users like SSHD. So these are just the system users. And we have regular users like the user Victor, and we have regular users like the user John. So if I want to create a new user, I can just use the command user add, let me use um, the name Lisa, so forget about you know how to create a user for now when we get to that section which is how to section i will explain everything you need to know about creating users on linux system but i just want to use this you know for an explanation and that's why when i say cut it is a slash password you can see the new user which we created which is the lisa user so let's use this user to explain the attributes of um, a linux user so if you look at this line here, the last line here, the first line or the first parameter, which is Lisa, is it represents the username. 
So the username here is Lisa. And the second parameter, which is X here, so this represents that Lisa would have a password. And the third parameter, which is 1004, this third parameter here, so the third parameter represents the user ID. Every user would have a unique user ID. And the fourth parameter here, which is also 1004, so this represents a primary group ID. So whenever you create a user on the system, there is um, a primary group that is automatically created for the user. And the funny thing is that the primary group name is also Lisa. And that's why it's also carrying the same ID as the you know unique user ID. So this is also a primary group ID. So there is um, another parameter, the fourth parameter here, it is the Jekyll's field, but we don't have anything here. If you look at this user Femi, right, you can see that Femi has a Jekyll's field. A Jekyll's field simply means a comment, you know, just like a way to be able to identify a user. So, you know, if you look at this user Femi here, the Jekyll's field is accountant saying that Femi is an accountant, so you can put whichever name you want to put here. And that's why you are seeing the, you know, this double column here twice, meaning that we don't have a Jekyll's field here. So as we go on in this course, when we get to the how to section, I will show you how to, you know, put a Jekyll's field or how to assign a Jekyll's field or a comment field to a user. So the next um, field, so this is one, two, three, four, five which is the um, sixth field. This is simply the home directory of the user. And you can see that the home directory of the user is home slash Lisa. And the last field here, which is, a, which is the seventh field, simply means or represents the, um, the shell of the user. And in this case, the user's shell is slash bin slash bash. So having understood the attribute of the user, without further ado, let's get to the action time section, which is also the how to section. Let's see the step-by-step -step guide of how to create and manage users on a Linux system. So the first thing we're going to do is to create the user tech need. And to create a user, you can use the command user add, then followed by the username, which is tech need. So when you say enter, if you, like I said, if you do cat slash etc slash password, you can see that the user has been created, which is the tech need user. So the next thing you will want to do is to password the user and to password a user on Red Hat Enterprise Linux systems, you can use the command password technique. So it's going to tell you to give a password for the user technique. I can just, you know, give the password I like. It's going to tell you to confirm. I can also confirm the password. So you can see that here we have all authentication tokens updated successfully, meaning that we've been able to password the user technique. And if I want to switch user to the user technique, I can just easily do SU. SU means it will help me to switch user. Then if I do I think that I want to do a full switch to the user technique. So you can see here that this has changed from the user root to the user technique. And I was not prompted a password because, you know, like I said, the root user is the super user. So whenever I want to log in to any other user from the root user, I will not be prompted the password because the root user is the master user. So you can now see that I've been able to log into the system as the user technique. I don't have to, you know, um, log out and log in again. I can just simply do switch user to a particular user I want to switch to. And also, it can, I can also do switch user. So let's switch user back to to the root user, switch user, root user. 
So it's asking me for the password because the Technic user is a regular user, you know. So now I'm being prompted for, for a password so I can just, you know, put in the password of the root user. So you can now say that I've been able to log in back as the root user. So another thing we want to do is if you do user add, so you can either do user add or add user, whichever one works. So if I do user add dash dash up, so this will show me the things I can do as the things I can do with the command user add. You can see different options, the B, the bad names, the C, this is the comment, the Jekos I was talking about, the Jekos field. So you can see the home directory, meaning that I can actually create a user and immediately, you know, specify the Jekos, the home directory of the user and the primary group of the user and the secondary group of the user. So what we're going to do is to create a user and we'll create another user and we will specify the Jekos directly. So to be able to do that, I can just say um, user add, let's create a new, a new user, which is technique two. But before we, you know, if you look at this command here, you would see that we have usage, which is user add, then followed by the options, then followed by the user, which is the login. So I'm going to say user add followed by the option, which is the C option to create a Jekos or comment, right? So I can just say, um, take me to user it can be, you know, in the, in the, um, IT department here. Yeah. So followed by, I can give a specific shell for take me to user. So if you look at this, flag here yeah, this means this is a show and you know that we have different types of show in linux we have the bash show we have the T tcsa show we have different types of show so i'm just going to say um for this user i want to um, create a bash show that's a slash bin slash bash so you know by default you know every users are being created by bash show so if you don't put slash bin slash bash it's still going to create this user with the bash shell except you want to specify otherwise you know that's when you can then use a shell let's say t you can use the tcs a shell but let's you just use the bash shell and then this is going to be for um user so this is going to be the user um technique too right so i can say enter and if i do cut slash etc slash password i can grab for the user technique too so you can see that this user has been created and the name of the user is technique 2 the user id is 1006 the primary group id is 1006 the jekos field this user is in the it department and the home directory of the user is slash home slash technique two, and the um the shell for this directory is slash bin slash bash. So this is how we can you know um, create a user by putting in all the flags. And another thing we can do is to you know um, modify a user. And to modify a user, we can use the command user mode which is user modification so if i do dash dash up it will show us the flags that we can use with the user mode commands so for example if i want to change the comments or the jekyll section i can modify a user so for the technical user i can just say user mode i will just change the jekyll section so from the it department let us put technique two in the um let's say finance department and then i can say technique two so now if i do it to see password technique two you can see that the technique two um the jekyll section has been changed to the finance department so don't forget we have used three commands in this action time section we have used the user add command we have used the password command to password a user and we have also used the user mode command to modify users. So um, the next section would be the Ubuntu section. 
I'll advise that you get our exam practice questions for the RHCSA and the RHCE. Um, I'll be dropping the link to that in the description box below. It will help you a lot to solve a lot of questions and to get your hands dirty. So, creating a user on Ubuntu system is a bit different from that of Red Hat system. On Red Hat, the command user add, so this command user add and add user would do the same thing on Red Hat, which is to create users. But on Ubuntu, so on, on Red Hat, this command would do just exactly the same thing. There is no difference. But on Ubuntu, this command, yes, they will be used to create users, but they work in different ways. So let's start with the user add command. So let's say I want to create a user with the username technique. So if I say user add technique, and you can see that the user has been created. And by the way, I am on an Ubuntu machine. This is um, an Ubuntu server. So if I do cut it to see password, you can see that the user technique has been created. And you can also see the attribute of the user. You can see the home directory of the user. So if I do cd slash home and I do ls, you can see that I can't find that home directory. And which means that if I even need to switch user to the user technique, for example, and I you know try to switch user, you can see a warning sign saying that I cannot change directory because this directory does not exist. So I don't have another option than to go back to the user. And if you, you know, when we did this on, on Red Hat, we didn't have this issue. We could change directory. So like I said, you know, they work in different ways on both distribution. So the only thing I can do in this case is to is for me to just make that directory. So I can just say make directory. Um yeah, the home directory is slash home slash technique. So if I do ls, so I now have the directory. So if I try to switch user to technique, you can see that I can now switch user to technique. So let me exit out of this um user. So what I'm going to do now is to delete the, this user. So for me to delete this user, I can use the command user del. The command user del is used to delete the user, to delete a user. And if I use the hyphen r, that's the dash r flag, meaning that I want to delete everything that is associated with that user, the home directory. I want to delete the home directory of the user. So if I say user del delete technique, so we are getting mail pool, blah, 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 not fun, blah, 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 not removing. Well, if I do cut it to say password again, let's see. So the user has been removed. You can still see the home directory that we manually created. So I'm just going to remove this home directory as well too. So if I do LS, you can see that we don't have the home directory anymore. So the best bet is or the, what you can do is whenever you want to create a user um, on the Ubuntu system, you know, if we use the command user add dash dash up, you will see some flags and you can see this flag, which is dash M. So this dash M would help you to create the user's home directory. So whenever you want to create a user on Ubuntu using the user add command, you can just say user add, right? Um, followed by the dash M, which means that it will create the user's home directory and followed by the username. So if I do um, cd slash home and I do ls, you can see that we now have the home directory. So whenever you want to use the user add command on an Ubuntu system, try as much as to use the dash R, um, the dash M flag rather, to be able to create the user's own directory. So what we can do again is, there is a better command we can actually use on Ubuntu, which is the add user command. So the add user command is more or less like a script. I don't need to start, you know, fact, as a matter of fact, the add user command would even prompt me, you know, it will make me to 
create a password straight away for a user. So let's just try it. So if I say add user, let's add the user, take me to user, and I say enter, you can see that the script has been, it, it's running a script already and it's telling me to add a password, to input a password for this user. So I can just, you know, input the password. It's telling me to confirm the password. So I'm just going to confirm the password. So it's telling me that I should, you know, give this user a full name. And if I wish, I can do that. If I wish, I might not do that. So I can just say, take me to, um, let me put in David's name. I'm sure if David is watching this video, you'll just be laughing. So take me to David and I can say, enter the room number. I don't need that. Work phone. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. So is the information correct? I can just say yes. So you can see that this user has been created seamlessly. And if I do LS, you can see that I have the technique to home directory and I already even have a password for that directory. So if I switch user to technique two, so you can see that I can switch user easily. And you know, the technique two to as a password. And if, and if I do it to see, slash password you can see that i have both my users being created here which is technique and technique 2. so now you already know the difference between user hard and the hard user command on an ubuntu system and so in this um how to section for ubuntu we have looked at how to use the command user hard we've looked at how to use the command hard user We've looked at how to use the command user del to delete user, which which this user delta can be used on the Red Hat system too. And you can also use the command user mode to modify a user. And again, if you want to create a user um you know with with a ty any type of shell. So for example, if I just say user add and let's say shell, I can say bean force. For the user technique three so meaning that i can't even if i try and password technique three i say technique three and i say um okay and i switch user to technique three so i don't have that I actually wanted to show you something, but anyways, um, you know, I'm just, we, we already did this too on the Red Hat system. You can actually use slash bin slash no login, meaning that you don't want the user to be able to log in via a shell. So this is how you're going to create users, both we've done for that of Red Hat, and now we have already done for, for, the, for this or for that, for that of Ubuntu, which is this. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like, share, comment. It is when you do this, you know, when you keep doing this, it encourages us to do more of these videos. We want to give you more content, but we, I'm, I'm pleading that you should also help us share, subscribe, like, comment. When you do this, you would encourage us to do more. Thank you once more for watching and bye for now.